What's up guys and welcome to episode 6 of the One Hit Wonder Thrift Series. Alright, before we jump out into the wild to go sourcing for that one hit wonder, I'm going to share with you the sales that we made last night through Mercari and Poshmark. No eBay sales, unfortunately. However, Poshmark definitely came through and Mercari had one of its own that was a pretty decent sale. I'm going to share with you what sold. Then after that, we will get out there and start sourcing. Now, the first item we sold was this pair of Vans Hibiscus Tropical Sneakers. These are old schools and uh, really nice. Cool. Next is this pair of Timberland boots. These are youth size boots. Very nice pair. Next is this pair of Crocs flip flops. Kind of hard to see there. They are uh, just like a, a flip flop kind of thing going on. Nice and uh, made a few dollars. Next, we've got this pair of Nike Air Max. Not a particularly great specimen here. Uh, definitely shows some signs of wear, but we made some money. There was value in these shoes regardless. And then finally, there was this pair of Asics Gel Light 3s. Really nice pair, very clean. Super pumped that they sold, really good. A lot of tread left on them. A very clean pair here. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna go box these up and then I will meet you in the Thrift Mobile. All right guys, we're on the move right now. When I came out to my van and I loaded up to go, I really didn't have any sort of clear direction where I wanted to go, which is weird for me. Normally I know what store I wanna hit um, in my rotation but I was just kind of aimlessly driving around for a few minutes. And then I realized that there's a store about 25 minutes away from me in this very small blue collar town that I've never been to. Uh, I've been to the town, I've never been to the thrift store. And so I'm heading out that way to do that, to try out this thrift store and see what's there. Huge gamble because it's, it's 25 minutes away from my house in the opposite direction of everything else. So hopefully we find something uh, I'm not gonna stop until I find something. Like I will find a thing to sell because there's always a thing out there to sell. But in any event, if this does not work out, I have a friend who has a small restaurant in that town. And so uh, if all else fails, I can at least go get a good meal. So with that being said, uh, let's get there, let's do this. So we just got here, uh, 25 minutes from my house, just arrived. So let's go in there and see what we can find in this thrift store that I've never actually hit before. All right, so first off, first impressions, this is an incredibly tiny thrift store. Uh, basically one room, very small. Uh, just kind of poking around the electronics, had some really high priced stuff here, had this bread maker, uh, had food still left in it. Interesting and weird. Uh, the staff was really nice here, like exceptionally nice, and I think it has to do with that small town feel. Uh, the small town of just having, you know, a few thousand people, uh, really nice people in this thrift store. Uh, not a ton of stuff, and most of it not worth much at all, uh, if for me at least. Had some shoes. Shoes were normal, prices $7, $6, $7. Um, dirty, some of them were really beat up. Uh, this was a good pair of Nikes. I probably would have bought them if I was buying shoes. A good pair of Sperry's right there. A beat up pair of New Balances. Not great. Walking through. I found this Liz Claiborne handbag. Um, considered it, but I'm not really sure about Liz Claiborne. I'm not sure, you know, the value of that. Not really interested in that. I found this Royal Arms dartboard. It was pretty awesome, pretty beat up, but there were some good comps on them. Uh, going for $40 plus shipping in that condition. Looked for video games, couldn't find anything cool. Kept wandering around. Finally grabbed a cart at some point and went back to the electronics. They had some big stuff there. Not worth much. Uh, I think this was an air purifier. Not great. But they wanted 10 bucks for it. Um, I passed on it. Went through the sports stuff. Nothing to be said there. They had a bunch of phone cases and some of them were decent, but they were all Samsung products or, or phone covers for Samsung products. And I'm not familiar with Samsung stuff. So 
I passed on all of it. And they wanted like $10 for some of it. These are the two items I ended up picking up. I know I should not have gotten two items because it broke the rules, but it was worth it. I'll explain that in just a moment. This is the bread maker with the food inside. And an air purifier. All right, guys, we lock in some awesome stuff here. I broke the rules again. Uh, this time I spent $15. It was actually $14.27, and then I rounded up to the nearest dollar for the kids at the children's hospital. Uh, so $15 even. However, we were able to get this bread maker, which was $4.98, but it was 25% off because today is 25% off everything day. So we were able to pick that up for just a few bucks. And this particular item is selling for $80 plus shipping on eBay right now in used condition. The main thing is that it has the pan and it has the paddle at the bottom. This paddle still has bread in it. Pretty gross, but worth it. The other item that we picked up today was this Winix air purifier. This is the 5300 model. Some of the junkier versions are selling for $30 plus 30 shipping, but in good condition and working, they're going for $90 to $100 plus shipping and some free shipping. So I think I'll probably list it for $99 free shipping. It's not very heavy, but it is large. So shipping will be substantial no matter what, but this was $12.98 plus 25% off because it's sale day. So all in all, we spent $15 and locked in $180 worth of stuff, revenue, 180 revenue. For me, that's a win, that's a solid day. All right, so right after the thrift store, I went to my friend's restaurant, got some lunch, totally forgot my camera in the van. So I didn't film anything. I didn't even film a closing clip. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, so here it is. Thank you for watching. I hope you got value from it. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content and want to see more. And as always, I will see you guys on the next video of the One Hit Wonder Thrift Series. See ya.